I said that you claim it. Uh, it's that eggs box. Spit the block his legs live. Fast talker, no riddling. Moonwalk and sell a moon rock just to make dividends. Uh, you in traffic with family? That much making a portrait. Gun kick back, not grannies from porches. David on the scene, you know that it's scorching. Uh, what's the man with King? No response to the saying. Advance to the line. Advance to the payment. You from the game and shoot. What's that you claim? You already know the time. Told my boys to hold the line. We gon' shoot it out in seconds. Leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king. Leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war. Just need the king to drop the sign. Say what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team. We bleed green. That's what you wanted, huh? Say what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team. We bleed green. That's what you wanted, huh? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, huh? To hold the line, we gon' shoot it out in seconds. Leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king, leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war, just need the king to drop the sign. Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, huh? To hold the line, we gon' shoot it out in seconds. Leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king, leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war, just need the king to drop the sign. Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, huh? To hold the line, we gon' shoot it out in seconds. Leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king, leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war, just need the king to drop the sign. Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green, that's what you wanted, huh? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, huh? At the shrine, we stay ready for the war. Just need the king to drop the sign. Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green. That's what you wanted, huh? Say, what you running from? What you running from? I'm with my team, we bleed green. That's what you wanted, huh? That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted, huh? Advance to the line, advance to the payment. You front the game.
promise you I said that you claim it. Uh, it's that eggs box. Spit the block his legs live. Fast talker, no wriggling. Move walk and sell a moon rock just to make dividends. Uh, you in traffic with family? That much making a portrait. Gun kick back, not granny from porches. David on the scene, you know that it's scorching. Uh, what's the man with King? No response to the saying. They pissing the line. They pissing the pay me. From the game, shoot. What's that you claim? You already know the time. Told my boys to hold the line. We gon' shoot it out in seconds. Leave you posted like a vine. Buy your head down to the king. Leave your roses at the shrine. We stay ready for the war. Just need the king. Yeah, oh, what's going on? I hope everybody ready. Had a whole lot of conversation this week. So we're going to get into exactly the stuff that we need to get into. Yeah. I was going to have you sitting around waiting long. You know, dudes out here running. But, yo, hold on. We got a uh, legendary Yobi member for two months. Soldier X rank. Great work. Whenever I start going to these events, we're going to have a great conversations, man. I can't wait to learn more from you. You're important. Thank you. Peace and blessings. First and foremost, first and foremost, I want to I wanna give a big shout out to a lot of individuals that hit me in the DMs, that called me on the phone, um, boom, uh, my cuzzo, uh, everborn, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, to name a few, because, you know, the kid inherited beef, but beef ain't nothing new to me. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. And I always lead with peace, peace and love. You know, I always give respect until disrespected, and then you got to act in kind. I always tell my kids that. Don't go out there starting no trouble. Shout out to Web Dave, always there. Peace and blessings, brother. Coins went out, all right? So I had to wait till I got a whole bunch of coins. You know what's crazy? The wildest coin went out to my man in Canada, and, um, you know, he has, because I had switched my phone over and he has said he sent me his Addy and then he didn't get, well, it wasn't there. He did though, but it wasn't there. Then he screenshot it and I said, okay, listen, um, send it to me again. Excuse me. Send that coin out to him. So I had to do a customs. This is the first time I had to do a customs for, uh, my show. Um, I did a customs before early on. If anybody knows in Iron Lords, uh, I used to like, I will merch, <laughs> Yo, know, Attic could tell you, every order went through me, right? So I would box everything up. I would send everything away to people. Um, and, you know, we decided to go with Teespring. Shout out to Teespring. Uh, the Teespring store, I got new shirts up in the store right now. The new shirts up in the store, you got the Mustard Hearts. You got the King Neville Benz shirt that's in there right now. Presidential King is coming because you told you. I told you I'm running for president and CEO of SIE Entertainment. I'm planning to make Sony great again. I'm telling you right now, PlayStation is in a space. I'm trying to get them into a different space. But we're going to talk about all that crazy stuff. We're going to talk about CEO stuff. We're going to talk about uh, stuff that... All right, so dudes just hit me like, yo, Dick, yo, King, talk about the sweet baby ink stuff. Talk about the, the sweet baby stuff. Um, And I really didn't know about it, right? So I just started getting my education on it. Bro. It's like, um, you know how everybody say that we got a shadow government? It's like our video games is being governed by a shadow government. And the, nef the nefarious thought processes, it's wild. The agendas is wild. This is what happens when we have way too much information, bro. Like, I remember growing up playing video games. You got your cartridge. If we want to call it, well, okay, um, we call in in a half an hour. I talk my, 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 my crap, you know, <laughs> talk about what's going on, what's the topics, stuff like that. And then the call in addict is going to throw the, the link in, the, in, in, in the chat. Then people are going to click the link for the discord and come over. Right. Um, then we're going to talk about that. All right. So when, when I was playing video games, you just, you know, copped your video game and that was it. We didn't know nothing about the industry. We waited for the E3 tape to come out on VHS, which came out in September. The show was in June, but the VHS tape came out in September. And we would get the VHS tape when we would all huddle up and just watch it. Right? 
And and that that for us that that was that was it that was that was the greatest thing ever. We 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 were on deck with that, and that's when around the time you know we were reading Game Fan magazine, Game Pro, EGN magazine. Uh, what was it? Nintendo Power. So all our information came from that. Now all our information comes from the web, and. The ability of these hackers, these dudes, y'all individuals, y'all able to get all this information and dig up all this stuff. Because if you see stuff affecting our video games, we understand now that who they were going to and what they were talking about. So, I mean, this today topic ain't going to be about that. That's a whole different type of thing. But we're going to talk about lion CEOs, right? We had some CEOs that were on, yo, shout out to Bari. That's my dude. His show was dope. That that interview with Sean Layden was dope. It was dope as hell. I can't lie. Um, but then it was, you know, when you start to look at it, it was a lot of disingenuous stuff that was being said. Then I got a chance to watch um what is it? Uh not Sean Layden, um, Jim Ryan's interview. Jim Ryan interview, he's stuttering and befuddling uh, and and rambling on. And he acting like he happy with the deal that they got, like he wasn't out there actively ratting. Now, remember when I told y'all the reason why I can't mess with these dudes because they're repping rats and rats is, is permeating the industry? And dudes is like, yo, King, this ain't the streets. Well, you you don't, you can't tell me to have different morals and principles. Like, you, you can't tell me to do that. Right. But then you're going to tell me that, you know, Phil and them lied, too. And you're going to tell me what's the difference between Phil Lyon and Jim Lyon and Sean Layden Lyon. Right. All right. Let me tell you. Imagine this. And this is probably why a lot of you guys like PlayStation. And you probably thought that Jim saved the PlayStation on the PlayStation three going into the PlayStation four. They was like redlining. Right. Coming into the PlayStation four. If Xbox hit that layup that Donnie messed up, we having a different conversation now. Donnie messed up that whole thing, and Sean and them ran with it. Boom, off to the races. Let's bang them. Pause. So now, Sean and them, they they didn't have, and I'm going to get to the strategy that they had. They didn't have any first-party titles and stuff like that. What they did was, what they always did, was they're making the pie bigger by getting exclusive games and also getting uh third party deals going and having third parties remember third parties used to be uh xbox can't do that but let me explain the, the what was going on so they was making sure that they they bolstered up the library with the third party stuff now when phil got xbox x and the xbox one that was a sinking ship we know and you know, Microsoft pulls the plug on failed products. I have a Zoom. I had a Zoom. Gone. Failed products. Anything that fails, that looks like a failure in their eyes, this is why PlayStation dudes is so confident that Xbox is going to get out of the game because they understand if Xbox doesn't make money, then they're done. Right? And this is a fact. Is this, this, is, this is why a lot of the Xbox dudes were sitting there scared because they're like, yo... They've been losing these generations. Only good generation, 360 generation. Xbox One, yeah, it was getting, you know, then the 360, but the, the PlayStation 2 is kind of beating its brakes off, right? Remember that. And they had to jump the gun to get into the, to the 360. They get into the 360. They balling on all cylinders. It's looking good. Was they able to actually eclipse the PlayStation? They beat the PlayStation 3 in that in that generation because they came out earlier. They had superior firepower in certain aspects. The play, the Xbox One was supposed to beat them, supposed to get them out of here. They were redlining. Remember, I tell you this. These dudes did everything that they were supposed to do. Xbox ain't supposed to be here. The only reason why Xbox is here. Is because Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer. And I don't care if you dudes don't like me saying that. I don't care about all that. I heard you dudes saying some weird stuff that you won't say in my face because I know your fan base won't say nothing because you don't say nothing. You scared. I know you. I was on the phone with you. You scared. You scared. Anyway, in my city, you wasn't in my city. I had your ad. You had everything. Be careful who you talk to. 
So, Phil and them worked hard on this. You understand? Worked hard to get the Xbox to where it is. He did different things, did Game Pass, did all the stuff that's actually functional. Now, you're saying you're king, but they still third place. To convince your upper management to invest a hundred billion dollars into the space, you got to understand where he's from. So I say without him, we were done. I think Jim sunk PlayStation. And, and this is why I'm saying this, right? And I know you're saying, yo, yo, King, calm down. Listen to what I'm saying. Sean Layden left that the, the PlayStation 4 era, well, PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4 with good IPs. He pointed out all the IPs that they're made since the PlayStation 2 to the PlayStation 3. Right? He made he, he told you they was balling with these games. They did all this stuff. Now, Jim kills Japan, consolidates over in Europe, right? That was bad, killing off Japan. But maybe the metrics of what we're seeing right now with rebirth is the reason. And I saying rebirth is Sony. Rebirth is not Sony. That's square. A lot of you dudes be talking like that stuff. Oh, Neil Mentor, two dollars. Keep your foot on their neck. I'm not gonna stop. I will continue to keep my foot on their neck on God and them. Like y'all, y'all really think I'm a different breed? I ain't that dude to tuck tail and run. I'm not gonna duck off of Twitter. I don't duck any fades. Never did. Never have. Never will. You gotta understand who I am. But you'll figure it out later. You'll figure it out when you figure it out. It's too late. I'm already on you. Remember that. You know, a lot of y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah, it ain't that that that, that person y'all think. I don't care about that person at all. Like, I don't even care about this dude is a dude. I don't care about this dude. But he has his people's thinking that he's like that. And people be thinking they can crash out. But they can't. Anyway, now they're saying consolidation is bad. And this is Sean Layden saying consolidation is bad. But under Sean Layden, PlayStation consolidated the most. His last deal before he left was Insomniac. He brokered that deal. He got that sweetheart deal of Insomniac. If Sean Layden doesn't get Insomniac, let's say Sean Layden, where's the PlayStation 5 right now? Or the PlayStation 4 for that matter, because Insomniac definitely did a whole bunch of stuff. Hollywood Rules $2 Super Chat. King, my brother, we duck no face on God and them. We Xbox dudes is different. We bleed green. We absolutely different. That pressure sh don't work, bro. I grew up under pressure concentration situations. Don't fold, don't break. Never, never. Y'all y'all gonna understand. Real men, you gonna follow me. If I if I if I if I make you weak and your heart get a little trepidatious in your heart, it's because you got some weakness and you got that mustard sauce in you. We're gonna get that out of you. We're going to fix you right over here. Pause. We're going to fix you right over here. We different. We don't be switching and twitching in the chair. Nah, buddy. Y'all on something over there. Y'all different breed. We don't mess with y'all likes like that. Like. You are a funny guy. I, I, I got you now. You like skits. You're a funny dude. You're funny to me. You soft. You sweet. <laughs> I like it. And twitching in the chair. <laughs> Anyway, so now consolidation is supposed to be bad. But Sean Layden did a lot of consolidating under the Sony brand. Jim also did a lot of consolidating. You understand? You're funny. So now when Microsoft starts spending the money, oh, consolidation is bad. But Sean Layden, correct me if I'm wrong, works for Tencent. The largest consolidating company in the world. And when it comes to video games, right? Between them and Embracer Group, what's up? But when Microsoft starts to do it, it's bad. Because you're going to start getting same-ism, same games. How many Spider-Mans have we got within a span of five years? Now, don't get me wrong. 
I think that Spider-Man should have cooked. That Spider-Man 2 should have cooked a little bit longer. I don't think the bugs would have been inside Spider-Man 2 like that. Play the game, finish the game. Nobody brings up that game of score, right? Bring up the game of score for real. See, because you dudes don't think that I'm going to address that, right? It's two accounts. If you can do math, do the math, you fools. <laughs> but then talk about the PlayStation stuff. Add that stuff. Or do um my MetaQuest stuff. Do that, do that, do that. Or how about the stuff that don't? have gaming score so i'm supposed to have started gaming what uh five years ago yeah ridiculous that's kind of wild like do you see this do you, you do you know my history i'm him i'm him the dude that you was looking at i'm him the dude that had everything day one the dude in the hood that had everything day one, I'm him. The dude that had the, the, the Famicom that brought the Japanese Street Fighter through the hood that cost me $125 in Penguin Village, I'm him. I'm that guy. I'm him. When dudes had a problem, I'm big homie. I'm the only boy. I didn't have nobody to run to. All my people could vouch for me. Different breed of dudes. A lot of you dudes are suspect. And it's okay to be you. I'm not telling you to be soft. I'm not, no, I'm not no tough guy. Tough guys die. I'm 51 years old, right? Obviously, I made it here, right? So, I'm not a tough guy. Because I lead with respect. But until you disrespect, then you're going to get what you're going to get. Don't come for my game of score. You still are worrying about wiping your behind properly. Girls are not going to like you if you don't wipe your behind properly. Wipe it behind properly. They just start talking to me. But, hey. Oh, my God, Frank Kent. What's up? Yeah, because Spider-Man, friend or foe, was a game of the year candidate. Frank, please, I, I want to ask you a question. Now, please, Frank, I really want you to call in, Frank. I really want you to come in, call in. You always in my comments, Frank. I love you, Frank. I really want you to call in because that game could have been added. A multiplayer component could have been added to Spider-Man. And they took it out. That game, You know what made me really mad, Frank? Seriously. I... I wouldn't have been so mad because I knew the game was canceled last year, right? Because they said it. Until I saw the trailer. And I was like, damn, that game looked dope. That game looked dope. And I'm like, it was almost dead. Then I saw the second trailer that made me even more upset. Don't be flattered, Frank. Just come on. I like you. You, you, you. All, you know what? You know, I get a lot of hate in my chats, right? In, in, in my whatchamacallits, in my comments. Hold on. Matt, member for two months. Soldier S rank. I salute you, soldier. No PlayStation 6. You know how we do over here. Facts. And I'm explaining why. What time is it? Okay. We didn't get there yet. All right. Good. We about to, we, we, Frank need to call in. Frank can call in. Listen. Frank, Frank always leaves messages down at the bottom. I thought Frank was a PlayStation dude. If you want a Spider-Man to have legs, like they did the God of War thing, you should have released that, 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 that content in the game to have the game have legs. We're used, we're used to, over at Xbox, we're used to having multiplayer components and games having legs. Over there, PlayStation, to turn stuff around, you need to have legs on your games. So killing it in Spider-Man ain't cool. I don't care on what metric that you're going to say. You, you're going to bring up Avengers. You're going to bring up uh, Suicide Squad. You're going to bring you're going to bring all that stuff up. But that's that's not true. That's not factual. If you craft something right and you have the the that that multiplayer component, Sony used to do it. Remember, factions was inside the game. Cedric 8, member for three three months. Soldier S rank. I salute you, soldier. Remember, we got um I'm gonna give away more Call of Duty coins because the 21st ain't out yet. And this is for Call of Duty Mobile. I'm giving out the Call of Duty coins. Now, yo, 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 yo. Crazy thing before we get to the calling. I have information. You know the Fallout show? Okay. So you know the Fallout show? Y'all see that, right? When the Fallout show show up, that coin is going to be on deck to give out. 
The other coin that we got is the Diablo coin coming, and I got the Power World coin. That's about to hit. I'm about to give all that out. Joseph Hagen with the $10 Super Chat. All these fakes out here, and King been keeping it 100 this whole time. Blessings, bro. On God, I like. I ain't got to sit there and lie to nobody. I tell dudes, I play Fortnite. You try to shame me for playing Fortnite? Are you crazy? And I never play Gibbs multiplayer. Never. None of my peoples did. Like, we played it probably once. We probably played Horde mode the most. Like, you know, but I just never got down with it. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like the flow of it. But Halo, though, we played Halo, though. We got stories for days on Halo, though. But individuals want to paint a story that fits their lives. My life ain't your life. Because you, you, in high school, you wasn't that dude. You wasn't the dude. I was the dude in my block with an eight ball jacket, my guy. When it came out. Not now. Not when y'all do that. Now. Come on. Had every Pele. Every Averex. I'm him. Not to the my own home. God bless me. That was hard work and grind. Through God. Never looked down on nobody. Always picked my team up. My team wasn't working right. Let me get you. Let's go. Now, nah, being him ain't about yourself. It's about everybody else you bring up with you. Yay, boy on the runs. Welcome to Soldier S rank. I salute you, Soldier. Hollywood rules. $5 Super Jet. Dudes don't know about 25 cents on the game screen in next arcade. Man to man. Eye to eye. Not online. Keyboard tough guys. Cats built different now. Let me tell you something. You ever play Street I told you. Street Fighter. We play Street Fighter. I saw a dude get stabbed. Don't cheese me, bro. Came from a dude being stabbed right next to me. Like, my quarter's up there, and the dude, he had guile. So, um, what the dude would do is hit him, and then he had to grab him and flip him. Hit him, grab him, and flip him. And it was a hood dude there, and he was like, yo, stop cheesing me, bro. Stop cheesing me, bro. And I'm like, what's going on? He's getting mad irate. Soon it was like, game over. He turned around and poke-a-poked this dude. I was like, yo, different. And then left them in a pool of blood. But I'm standing right there. It's a different energy. You dudes do all that online capping and acting all real tough. Nah, nah, nah. And I'm saying that I was fighting to do because I wasn't. But I witnessed it. Different kind of energy. Jax, 82, $10 super chat. King, when Sean Layden was talking about buying games full price and supporting the devs, I said, what is he talking about? And did I miss something? A lot of these full price games coming out broken day one. Listen. He was placating to his fan base, right? People standing right there in front of him, knowing that that wasn't sustainable for him at all. And I'm not, it's, it's, it's no shade to Jay Barry and them. Y'all got that interview. Y'all supposed to. That's the second time y'all did that. I big up my brothers every day, all day. Love that. You know, not saying that he, do you think if Phil come on our show that um he's going to, <laughs> yeah it is traumatizing frank no bs no no serious but that's the environment i grew up in i grew up in a cantankerous environment where it was pressure cooked you understand it's either eat or be eaten bro that's about it that's exactly how it is so anybody that told you growing up if you got a great beard and you're talking now then you got a lot of stuff that you could talk about you could talk about stuff but talking about supporting the devs sean already know the devs got paid this ain't this ain't a concert where the devs get paid on the back end. That's not how this works. So all these dudes talking about we support the devs. The devs already got paid. They recouping money. The company is recouping money when the game sales happen. They front them you know, the bread. Real quick, King. You know what the funny thing? People say support the devs. If Game Pass was truly that bad for the industry on the dev side, why are so many devs fighting to get on the damn thing? <laughs> well, because they because they get an extra bag, which is crazy. This see that that narrative only works when your platform doesn't have a service that supports your needs, right? Y'all PlayStation dudes will be super happy if your games was day and date inside PlayStation service. You'll be super happy. Don't lie, man. Tell the truth, Shane the devil, let it be. Look over there and be envious. See a thieves is popping over there with you guys on the pre-orders because you understand what a quality game is. You was hating because you didn't have it. That's it. 
but it doesn't stop you from buying it. Like the logic that you dudes produce out of your pea brains drives me crazy. You can go buy an X. You can go do whatever you need to do. Since when do you think you in some exclusive club? You not. I've been having PlayStations before you was born. I was having PlayStations when your moms and your dad was in the lunchroom talking. Do you understand who I am? Don't, 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 don't come for me unless I send for you. And I'm real about this because your dudes is disingenuous. It's kind of crazy. Why little old me threaten everybody else? I don't know why. Maybe it's a spark. Maybe it's his realness. That whole the lie hurt you boys. Hurt you so bad, man. And it's the dopest thing about it is because I was inspiring each and every last person that's here. I inspire you in some type of way to go do something great for today. Go be, go do something. If your boss is taking advantage of you, what you do? Don't take it. Talk up. Have a backbone. Don't cower. You don't like certain treatment? Talk up. Don't let nobody bully you. I grew up in a place where you could not be bullied, bro. If you get bullied, then you're going to have to fight every day of your life. You don't understand the mentality. So you, you, you have to be cut from a certain cloth. And I understand a lot of you guys don't have that training. Right? So, but I'm here to train you. I'm here to train you young dudes up. And if you if you here because you saw a video of me, listen to me. I'm going to treat you like a man. They was treating you like a dummy, like a fool, like a sucker. They was telling you something that was real was fake. I'm just telling you, look at the difference between me and them. Look at the conversation that comes out of my mouth. Listen to me. Understand what I'm telling you. I can tell you real stuff. They're going to tell you fake stuff. I'm not going to tell you to don't follow them. Go ahead. Go look. Go look. Go check them out. I'm glad that they share my stuff out. I'm glad they do. You know why? Because that exposed you to me. And if that happens, once we get all that mustard hearted weak stuff out of you, you good because everybody here is solid. But addict, let's get to the calling portion of the show. Let's get to the calling portion of the show because we're going to talk about the Spider-Man. We're going to talk about CEO's line. We're going to talk about Jim Ryan saying that they got a favorable deal now. When what was on the table was all the ABK stuff. So this Not is how just going to work, guys. There's a link in the chat. You click on that link, it's going to take you to a Discord. There's going to be a, a, a channel called Waiting Room. We're in an invisible channel, okay? You can't see us. We pull up on you, you don't pull up on us. So, uh, you know, once you join that waiting room, I'll snatch you. You know, might as well be a movie at this point. Snatch 2.0. <laughs> we'll snatch, snatch you and bring you straight in here. And, you know, we might let you go, we might not. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how the vibes are. <laughs> Listen, one more thing. When you come on, lead with respect, and you will be respected. You understand? Because that's how I do it. I, I, I lead with respect. So let's get everybody over, because a lot of people had a lot of Twitter stuff talking, but I want y'all to get in here. I want y'all to have that same level of vigor with your fingers that you had. I want you to have that with your mouth. Come on, pause. Pause. Absolute pause. Nah, chill. I want you to be able to have a conversation. <laughs> hey, yo. That's wild crazy. So Jim saying that now they are in a favorable and he wanted to have Call of Duty for, for the life of the PlayStation. Life of what PlayStation? Dude, does Microsoft need to cut y'all off at a certain point in time? Do you think Microsoft was getting... He, they gave Call of Duty out to everybody, 10-year contract. Don't you think they want that bread? Think about it. Call of Duty made God of War possible, Spider-Man possible, Ratchet and Clank, all these games possible. Don't you think Microsoft want to fund their stuff too? What are you, crazy? It was never an option not to let you get Call of Duty. You was going to get it. If it was up to me, I would have I gave you Popeye's biscuits. What's going on? first caller. All right, who we got? We got Hoodie. Hoodie! That's my dude. Yo, Hoodie. 
Show these dudes how it's supposed to be done. Kong will die. On God and them, we know what's true. Hoodie, what's up, man? Talk to me. What's going on, man? Yo, you, you saw what dudes was talking about this week? It was crazy. Man, I don't be worried about what the motherfuckers talking about. You want to know why? Talk to me. Because they didn't already talk. They talked so much that they didn't lost everything. Yeah, this is true. And Sahan was like, hey, Xbox doing something they ain't supposed to do. Xbox already addressed it. Now look at them. They got to sit without games for 18 months. You said who that? Who, who, who said that? Who said that? You said that? Yeah, who said that? No, no, no you, had, you had said something because I was going to let you know something. You, who said that? Who said that? You had said, you had said a name. Yeah, okay. So that dude that you had. I told yeah, you, yeah. I don't be following the rumors, man. I don't. Yeah, yeah. The, so the dude man, that you had said. They do. I, I had called him today. Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah, the man. Things that, the things that PlayStation over there doing, and then they sitting here trying to justify it. It's well, sad. they got Popeye's biscuits for how how long? They got Popeye's know, biscuits man, for, for eighteen months. Eighteen, 18 months, months worth of Popeye's biscuits, man. That's some all you can eat buffet right there. That's crazy. Nothing. Tell it's me good. how the how the PC is eating and they not eating. What the, the PC hell is going always on? been eating, man? PC no, is but always, they PC feeding the PC though. Stuff, man. This is true. Why? Why people act like day and date shouldn't be on the PC? Why? Why? Why is that? Like the oh, PC can make your games, but the PC can't get your games. You know why they? You know why they mad? Tell me. Because they because they know they know that they failing. No, oh, yeah, so, it is, it's hard. I mean, think about it. They ain't gonna buy Gravity Rush like, too. They've been acting yeah. like PlayStation been on the high water for a long time, man. They made yeah. a whole Spider-Man game that ain't even worth seventy bucks, man. Like, come That's on, true. you got two Spider-Mans and it ain't no multiplayer. Yo, like, let me ask you a question. Shouldn't they start or nothing? Shouldn't they have put that multiplayer with that Spider-Man two? Let it cook a little bit, take out the bugs, fix the bugs, and put that multiplayer with it. Even if it's not a game of service type of multiplayer, just a multiplayer aspect to it, wouldn't it have made the game a little bit better? In your opinion, I, now, I mean, in my opinion, yeah. No, it depends because you know people were always thinking that, oh, it's good to release something and so on and so forth, and then it comes around and it's yeah. not it it you know it's dog shit, it's trash. You know, and think, PlayStation but, is pretty much the king of that, man. Look but, at it. But if it's bad, you could just you could just cut it out, right? I mean, just literally, you could just stop supporting it. If it's bad, they've done stop supporting like a lot of stuff like this if the game was a 70 dollar game right they shouldn't even have to make a playstation uh like a what is it called a multiplayer version playstation version whatever they shouldn't even they shouldn't even have to make a multiplayer version it should have came with that in the first place if it was that's what i'm game. that's what i'm talking about for that 70 you know bucks they should have held the game until october start, uh add a friend you know how it goes man like, if you can play Gears mm -hmm. of War on multiplayer with each other on a separate screen, why you can't do it with Spider-Man? Because they don't go into games thinking about multiplayer. And I think that's the fundamental that right problem. Is they downfall. They keep on thinking like that. Well, you know, now nowadays, you, that's, that's not possible. You got to have some multiplayer, something. Something got to happen. But, Hoodie, let me know what you want to talk about today about something that happened this week my joint i had this week i was talking about um what was it the the suicide squad dropping down to 40 dollars. what is your take on suicide squad dropping down to 40 dollars so they can get some type of traction talk to me i think personally yeah i think they need to make a batman beyond game that's what i think i think they should have did that and started with that but hoodie i appreciate you every week I definitely can count on you to come through and call through. I respect you, oh, for sure, brother. Man, for sure. Blessings. For sure. Attic, let's get my man Carmelo Anthony up in here. Carmelo K. Anthony. Yo, if this is really Carmelo, what's up? Talk to me. Carmelo, please unmute yourself. Please talk to me. What's good? What's good, Carmelo? You know Carmelo, um... When Allen Iverson was playing, I was a super Allen Iverson fan, like 76ers all day, like you couldn't tell me anything. First it was Scottie Pippen, then it was uh, Allen Iverson, and then after that it was Carmelo Anthony. Um, but talk to me.
talk to me with what you think these CEOs is doing and what was their plan nefariously in getting the consumers to believe that buying the games day one or buying it without uh, getting a steam code or whatever the hell is supporting the devs. To be honest with you, I think that the best way to support the devs is just simply to play the game. Because most of these consoles, they monitor like our activity on the games yep. to see if we're actually playing them to determine if it's worth the investment to bring the games to the platform. So right now, if you're on Xbox right now and you want more Japanese games, there's a Square Enix sale going on right now. You so saw you that, think- right? Right, I saw that. I'm loving it. Yeah. I can't decide what to go with. So I'm looking at them and I'm saying to myself, okay, so which game am I going to try for the first time going and try right. my best to complete it as fast as I can? Because if they see that I complete the game, they're going to be like, oh, he's interested in this. He's new to the platform. This is what the people want. Right. And then they'll bring more of those games to said platform. Because I, tr- I transferred from the PS4. I took okay. all last generation from the PS4. Came into the next generation wondering which console to go to. Didn't know if I wanted to get the PS5 or the Series S. And then you see Microsoft making all these moves. They buy Bethesda, then they right. buy Activision, and Sony's just doing the same old, same old sequel after sequel, not really changing anything. I had to get a multiplayer or any new IP, and I'm sitting there like, okay, it's either this or I go back to Nintendo on the handheld and you know Damn. overpay for old hardware just to play a little Mario Kart and Smash, and that's not really worth the investment. Like you grow out of that after a certain point where it's like that's not really what oh, you're talking. so you didn't do day and day, like you didn't get the consoles when they first came out. You just sat back and had evaluation of the consoles when they right. came out. Because oh. my PS4 was still, you know, killing. We were still getting okay. games to it, it was still getting support, still had plenty of games in my backlog to play, plenty of games God online, live so service I wish games. I, had that kind of control. I really do. So, I wish I had that kind of control. No, it's like I'm 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 listening to it and I'm trying to understand it because I don't I don't I don't have that level of control to be honest with you. Seriously, yeah. I'm buying I'm, I'm buying both of them. But I'm your idea was smart because Jim Jim Ryan f- tried to fool a lot of people you in the beginning went, talking about the generation with last gen. To be yeah, it was not only that I saw it last generation that it was a problem with Jim Ryan in 2018. Right okay. after God of War 2018 hit. I noticed things were changing. They got rid of communities. They started charging tax on the PS. Yeah, store. yo, you remember they that? Doing all the, yeah, I remember all that shit. I was like, what's going on? Why are all these changes happening? It makes no sense. We didn't have this before. What's going on? And, and he tried He tried stuff. to scare y'all guys by saying that they believed in generations and yeah. and then went back on that like four months later and was like, nah, these games is going to be cross-platform. He's going to support y'all for the next four years, four or five years. And right. you holding out actually benefited you because you didn't have to worry about shortages you didn't have to worry about this you didn't have to worry about that and your performance pretty much was decent enough on those games that did come out that you was able to carry through so you went with xbox and you you did you did you go straight for game pass yeah yeah i went straight for game pass because you know they gave you the dollar option obviously right. when you're a new member and stuff and i saw all those games i'm like yo you got all the old bethesda games and i never played wolfenstein so i hopped right into that well, then you got cool. persona three and four i never hopped into those games on the ps2 back in the day got into those you got like so many different games and then hi-fi rush dropped obviously the sleeper hit and i loved that game that was amazing really good oh, game. what what do you think about it. what do you think about hi-fi rush going to playstation I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't keep it exclusive to your platform, but at the same time, it's like we got it first. Okay. So at the end of the day, so it's like as long as we get all the new games first, does it really matter if like we give it up and we only have it for one year? Is it really that bad that other people get to play it? And they're funding us to make more games for our platform, new games that they're not going to have at day and date or at launch. So at the end of the day, it still benefits us long term. And at the end of the day, you don't want these studios to go under. You want them to keep making more of the same games that you love. So at the end of the day, if they can make more money and then thus, you know, hire more people to pump out more games, it only benefits all of us as gamers. So it doesn't really hurt. You know what I noticed? That was a great strategic move. They put it on the PlayStation 4 as well. Yeah, it was. I, I thought that move within itself meant more than just putting it on PlayStation 5. Like PlayStation yeah. 5, you already know that there's a cap there or whatever. You're going to sell probably one or two million. But that PlayStation 4 fan base that don't have any games, that haven't been getting any games, that have been excluded from games like Rebirth, and I don't know why that happened, but you see the performance on the PlayStation 5, maybe that's the reason. Um, But to go to that PlayStation 4 to get High Five Rush over there, I want to see the sales metrics of that game um, selling on PlayStation 4. But 
is there anything that you want to say before I let you go and get to our next callers? We have two more people that's waiting in the background. Bet I'll, I'll ask you this: What do you prefer, Kingdom Hearts or Star Ocean? Oh, Star Ocean. I'm 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 I'm, I'm a I'm a Star Ocean dude when it comes to that. Like Kingdom Hearts, I think that's more addict. Um, I don't know the lore. The lore's too convoluted. I just pick up the games and just play them. And I'm looking around like half the time I don't know what the hell they're talking about. And yeah. but I just try to follow the story as much as possible. But Star Ocean, yeah, I, I love I love <laughs> how the, the, they look like cutouts in a polygonal world and then you know they finally transferred over but that's that's how far back i go with star ocean like when they first came out i thought star ocean was dope i it just has that flair of stuff that i like to it a little bit more and a story i could follow <laughs> and if you see phil tell him dragon quest chrono trigger and final fantasy pixel collection that's what we need no we need to get that what, on xbox when 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 I see Phil, I'm gonna tell him make sure he get Final Fantasy 16 and go buy Square. Yeah, <laughs> that too. That ASAP. part. Kill kill Kong completely. Blessings, man. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Yo, definitely addict. Let's get somebody else in here. I think my guy is there. Yo, where's all the PlayStation dudes that was talking junk on Twitter? Hey, yo. Matter of fact, matter of fact, to hell with that. Where's all the people that was making them videos? Shouldn't you have, is a platform for you to talk. If you have a gripe with me, right, you should be able to have a conversation, right? If you think I was gonna, wasn't going to have a conversation with you, I'm not that scary, am I? Come on. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> Hollywood rules was good, my guy. Talk to me. Xbox boogeyman talking about come on in. The water's fine. You know these <laughs> dudes are scared. You know these. And first of all, what's up, Attic? I got to address Attic. Y'all gave Attic a new haircut. Y'all come with your mattress. Attic, Attic talk about snatching souls and snatching people up. See what happens? Y'all go to the mattresses. Y'all made Attic mean now, too. What's going on? Yo, you saw it. You saw it. Yo, I, I spoke it into existence. I said, yo, man, you get a low joint, had a bed, let that joint grow out. He was like, yeah, no, I have to give a certain type of attention. I know wifey looked at him and was like, yeah, that's a good look. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled. He rolled a dude no, packs, dude. The we funny thing at him is, there's the... actually a deeper story on now. that because um, I was Tell talking me. to her. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna go ahead and um trim my beard down." She's like, "No, I got you. A, you have an appointment at, at, at the barber." I'm like, "What?" She's like, "No, no, we ain't doing no. You ain't doing no. You go into the barber, and then I see you at eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Your Hollywood talk to me. They came for the boy. They missed though. They missed. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what they say. Omar said the wire. You, know, you come for me, you better not miss. Keep, keep, uh, they better miss. Not, keep, better not miss. Like, I can't remember that one dude. That dude that everyone hates on uh, Twitter. But he's like, they shot their biggest weapon at me and they did nothing <laughs> it bounced <laughs> off my chest <laughs> and what's funny is they don't they don't realize how 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 you got family out here and people are loyal to you so what you think you gonna sell this junk and sell this stuff on twitter and ain't nobody else gonna come at you like it don't work that way uh -huh. don't work, it, ain't, it ain't work that way how i grew up in brooklyn if you poke you poke my boy i could poke him but you bet not so you know that you know that's how it is just ignore the higgins king you know <clears throat> adding the same thing with you two listen we, we we're all entitled to different opinions right yep. and um i think the problem is a lot of these guys you know, it's almost like a gang affiliation. You know, all they've ever played is that box. They didn't play multiple box. They didn't grow up playing hey, multiple true. boxes, playing multiple games. <clears throat> so they look at it different. <clears throat> and, you know, listen, I love Xbox. It's like I love Sega, but I played everything. You know, we, yeah. we shared and we played everything. So, you know, I don't, it's weird energy because they never hold the brand. I, I love the Jets. You go go. Read my Twitter, go That's read my why you my guy, son. <laughs> ah! yeah, but, but but when the Jets screw up, I beats the hell out of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, for real. Beats the hell out of them more than me because you know I want them to for see. Real. I want them to be great. I want them to be Dude, good. I, I didn't even great. watch this year, bro. As soon as Aaron went down, I was just like, nah, that's good. I'm good. You didn't miss nothing. You didn't, you, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank God for fantasy football, King, because I didn't have to watch him neither. Uh, God but, bless. Um, um, yeah. So it's it's just weird that they never hold the thing that they love so much. They never hold it accountable. Yeah, this is true. I, and and and, and I, I just I just don't get it. Me and you grew up in the era, and I understand you grew up in New York. New York, he who has the most toys wins. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> that's what we grew up with. We grew up with motivation. Like girls wasn't looking at you if you ain't have this or have that. 100%. So 
What we was doing, we was making sure that we had this and we had that. Like from 17 years old, I never walked again. I was always in a whip. I was moving. I was shaking. I'm doing my thing. I was my, making sure I had this and the third. My so, best friend was oh, older than me. So right. he was working a little bit before me. So for me to keep up with him, you know what I mean? Now I got to keep, I got to, I got to hustle and stuff earlier in life than I, than I want to do. But you know, you know, you want to buy these transformers. You want to buy, you know, these systems. You want to buy this stuff. Yo, you have to go. You don't have to grind. And you, you want these things. Like you said, the one with the most toys and the one that's going to live. So, yo, know, let me let me tell you how much of a Jets fan I am. My son's middle name is Keyshawn. Yo, Keyshawn number one. Yeah, Keyshawn his, number one pick. Yo, yes, his name Keyshawn is Johnson. his name is David Keyshawn Johnson. That's that's my that's my Keyshawn. oldest son. Uh, spitting image of me is crazy, and I you know my you my youngest son is licensed. And he looks like me too, but um, that's how much my 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 Jets fandom go. I go all the way to the core with these dudes. I believe green for real, which is nuts. Green, I'm green all the way around, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm, let me I'm, ask I'm, you a I'm question, video. Hollywood. Let me ask you a question. Now I'm gonna ask you two questions. That that Spider Man cancellation. Mm -hmm. Do you think they should have let Spider Man cook a little bit longer, release it in December or January? And put that that multiplayer in there and get the bugs out and 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 let release the game that way, or do you think they was right for cutting that Spider Man out? I think they rushed because they needed the bread and rushed it out. I okay. thought from what I saw in that trailer, that would have been fantastic. My son is a big big Spider Man nut to the point yeah. where his PlayStation Four that he bought, he had to buy the Spider Man model. And he specifically bought PlayStation 5 just to play Spider-Man. And I felt bad for him because, you know, it wasn't what it what it could be. And yeah. But we see the financial state that Sony is in. And I'm not just talking about PlayStation. I'm talking about Sony. Sony as a whole, yeah. These dudes just talk and they think it's just PlayStation. It's not just PlayStation. It's Sony as a company, as a whole, that's... Yeah. And, and and that's in a bad way right now. So if they could have pulled that off, but the problem is, King, they don't value multiplayer. They never have. And that's why they could talk all the smack that want to talk about Halo. They would never have anything that has the campaign covered and a multiplayer, even though they goofed and they, you know, but eventually look what Halo is right now. Look what Infinite is doing right now as far as the multiplayer. It's had a but see, but they, you, you know, they would come out and tell you, uh, but we got Helldivers, though. Uh, yeah okay, <laughs> but you know you know what I would say, and I would I would say this I would say, now that they pur purchase Bungie, they do have Destiny, yes, and, and and I know Destiny and 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 listen I'm gonna give them that because I take everything that Xbox got so I don't care we purchase them they mine she's my boo I don't care so you got Bungie, and that's multiplayer you put your games everywhere it's cool she for the streets it's nice it's whatever, but they do have a multiplayer game that they're betting heavy on with Final Shape. I think if Final Shape fails, Marathon is cooked. Mm. What do you think? You know, uh, Bungie's weird right now. And they better hope it's successful. Because it is, you know what's funny, King? And uh, PlayStation has these has these great IPs that was on PlayStation Two and PlayStation Three with Resistance and and stuff. You know these the, the what was the what was the uh, military one? Um, God damn it! I played it so much on PlayStation Two and I can't remember the name. You talking right about now. SOCOM? SOCOM. Like what the hell are you guys doing? Why were yeah. these being developed? I just SOCOM I got canceled. They they made it for the um for the Vita. Uh, or the PSP, and then SOCOM got canceled. Like, they had changed it into, a, like, a single-player game. But, yo, Hollywood, you know I respect you. I appreciate my you, my guy. Let's get my man MC in here. Let's go. Yo, Mixie, I got something to tell you which is absolutely hilarious. One of the dudes that was calling me out, right, they was calling me out, and he was talking about, um, uh, turn down your sound in the background, MC. I can hear you. There we go. So so he was talking all that crap. He's talking about he's in my city. I said, y'all see you. I want to pray with you. I'm going to pray with you. I want to holler at you. Oh, you ain't have the math. You ain't do all this. You ain't do all that. Yo, drop your Addy. Where you at? He ain't built like that. 
<laughs> Yo, and I dare you tell a different story because I got it all recorded. I dare you tell a different story. I dare you. Because I will put out the tape on you. You weak and you soft. And I'm going to let everybody in your fan base know. You soft. But I'm not going to say your name. Because I want you to come on the show. Come on the show. <laughs> MC, what's good? Talk to me. Talk to me, MC. What's good? We got almost 200 watching. MC, talk to me. What's going on, Kang? Peace and blessings to you and everybody listening in and the chat and all that. Bless uh, you, brother. My what's second up? time's calling in, and uh, you know, I'm the cat from the West Coast. Oh, and, uh, oh, oh. that you when we was talking about mustard hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, song. I, yeah. So uh I, I actually wasn't gonna say nothing about PlayStation. Um, but listening to everything, I, I Cause, Cause, my original intent on calling was to give big props on your video yesterday on the the you know game in the system using oh, okay. rewards yeah. points and all that stuff. Oh, thank you. And uh, give a uh, a couple of other hints and 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 stuff to maybe some people who don't get hit with that game. But the thing with PlayStation with me, talk to me. Uh, I do not talk about PlayStation. I do not care about PlayStation. Facts. I have a 21 year old daughter that lives in the house with me. She has a PlayStation 5. I don't care. You know what right. I mean? I like games. I subscribe to the YouTube PlayStation channel because I like games. I like to see things that are in development, what's going to come out. Right. I don't I don't sit and miss like, ah, oh, okay. Uh uh, I wish I could play it, but it's on PlayStation. Now, I, I just sit and enjoy the fact like, ah, oh, that looks like it's going to be a dope game. Right. I had a PlayStation account back in the 20, uh, what was that, 2011, 2012, when they had that big, massive hack. Yeah. So, you was part my, of it? My credit got jacked. Oh, no. Yeah, and... Once things got straight, I mean, you know. It, well, see, well, okay, let me ask you a question. Was they, did was they helpful? Because a lot of times, from I heard horror stories when it comes to dealing with Sony and purchases. Like if somebody goes and purchases stuff on your account, like because my boy, well, not my boy, but somebody I know that is Jason, got a thousand dollars run up on his joint, and they were giving him such a hard time to get that stuff off his account. They even banned his account. Yeah, that's Which talking is crazy. about Brian Tyler. He, he, not exactly the same. He had some issues, and uh, they ended up like pretty much telling him, you know, if you charge, try to charge back, we're gonna block your account. So he didn't charge back. But you know what's funny? He he got a PS3 to the PS4, and he called because he forgot the password, and they had no solutions. To that's him. what happened with me for my uh, my PlayStation Four to my PlayStation Five. To, to, to getting like his password or anything changed. Like they pretty much just essentially looked at that man in the, in the face and were like, we buy that shit. <laughs> so, 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 so tell me after, okay. So after they, they, they hacked your joint. I, that's kind of crazy. Sorry to hear that, bro. What's your thing on it? Talk to me. Well, well, well this wasn't, this wasn't a hacking of my account. This right. was the hacking of Sony. Right. Where, where user information, credit card information got leaked out. Wow. M nothing was bought. On the Sony account, I didn't have no fraudulent charge. Luckily, right. so I didn't have to do anything with that. But shit, excuse me, stuff right. got got charged up on stuff that, like, man, and and see, this is the thing though. Sony was slow to respond. Oh, yeah, in later hacks that necessarily wasn't dealing with. Uh, the games division because Sony movies, uh, Sony pictures got hacked too. Right. Every hack, Sony is slow to respond. I and think there's a problem over there. When so so to, not to belabor this, um, because uh, because India India in the in the aftermath, you know, it was given credit monitor and all that stuff, and I got stuff cleared up, but right. That was just my thing. Like, I can't support So you didn't trust them. him no more? Not at all. At all. You know, I'm, all. I'm, I'm, I'm like you. I don't trust him with my credit card at all. Like, well, it was kind of crazy. And, and, and I said it on the show before I let you go. 
Oh, and and, and I'm, I'm, I do appreciate the fact that you are highlighting that video. If anybody didn't see if y'all didn't see that video that I put out yesterday on how you can get free games for life, free games for life, go look at the video. I explain how to get it done, and you're going to thank me later. But um, I, I, I was on a show, and I'm sitting there. We, we're having this on Sunday, and my phone blinks because anything that hits my account, is my 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 phone was gonna let me know, and then looked and it said one hundred and seventy four dollars was taken out of my account for Sony Entertainment. I didn't put my credit card there. Somebody told me that I had it as a secondary backup or something like that, and I immediately removed everything from it. But I, they locked me in for their service for another year, and it wasn't like I wasn't gonna um, update it and do it. But I thought I had removed my information enough off of it that they didn't hit me. But they did, and it, and it's kind of crazy that that actually happened. So I was just thanking God that it wasn't. I looked at my card and it said, "Yo, a thousand dollars was charged to you, or something like that." You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, Corey Mosley was good. Uh, I'm gonna let you go right now. We're gonna get the legendary Yobi up in here. We got 200 watching. I appreciate you. Get the likes up. Share it out. Let the mustard hearts know this is the place where we don't bend, we don't fold, we don't break. You can make all the videos in the world. You can talk all your crap on Twitter. But when the man is right here and you can call in, you know what you do? You don't. <laughs> so that must mean you fearful of something, truth or something to be shed. Let's, let's, let's stop lying to the people. Let's let the people know the truth. Some people were mad because I was liking tweets that was hurting their feelings. And another dude is just a hating buster. You're a hating buster. You're just sitting on the side and nobody messes with you. Legendary Yobi, addict. Legendary Yobi. There we go. No, I'd, I'd there let we you go. finish your rant before I put anyone back in here. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Thank you. <laughs> nah, just the other dude, just a hater. But it was cute, though, because I saw how weak he was when it, when it was a situation. Like, when you call up, you talk about me, drop my... Don't ever tell me to drop my location, bro. And I hit you. And... And you don't drop yours. And I gave you my Baisley Park, boy. I was there. I told you. What's up? I'm him. You're not. <laughs> Yo, we legendary Yobi. Yo, let me tell you, man. I appreciate Yobi so much. I go to my account on Fortnite. He knows I play at least three to four hours every day. I'm a sucker for Fortnite. I don't care. I don't care. And I go in there, and there's a package in there, and I'm like, this dude is the greatest, man. It was, it was, it was a, a phenomenal present. I appreciate you, brother. I always do. Talk to me, Yobi. Talk to me. Hey, brother King, how we doing today, man? I'm blessed and highly favored. The Lord shines down on me, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's crazy. Hey, listen. Hey, hey listen, man. I I was going to drop you, drop you uh, on another Fortnite pack yesterday, but you already had it. I was like, okay, okay, King beat me to it. I'm, I'm a little bit <laughs> of my feelings. <laughs> Blessing. Yo, I swear, yo, when they pop up, yo, you was probably going to send me the, um, what, what's that joint? Um, uh, what's that? Uh, dog, it's the cartoon I, one. Uh, I was going to, no, I, I, I was going to send you the, 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 the one with one of the dudes. He's, he, he's a DLC character on Mortal Kombat. You know oh, what okay. I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I got that. King already got I'm like, damn, he beat me too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one I'm talking about. Invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That the one, Invincible that one. pack. Yes, Yo, I'm I'm such a fool for the Invincible cartoon. I, I was talking to uh, Fatanga in the background, and mm -hmm. um, I had saw uh, that because he had, he had a thread with uh, talking about that. And my problem with that show was I didn't know why they stagnated the episodes. They should have just waited for the series to finish the second, you know, the second season or the third season, whatever season they're up to now, and just put it out in its entirely so I can actually, you know, uh, watch it. Hold on a second. We got Echelon 7 with the $5 Super Chat. Peace, Lords, and blessing, Echelon. Blessings. I appreciate each and every last one of you that's here because y'all could have been someplace else, but y'all rocking with me. And I appreciate that so much. You do not know the level of support that you got. Even if you don't like me and you here, you watching, you support me because you love me in some form or fashion. And I appreciate you. Maybe you're going to hear something that's going to change your heart about me. Maybe not. But if you stick around long enough, I'm going to make you love me. 
pause. <laughs> hey, so, so check this out, King. I'm not, I'm not going to be long. Just going to yeah, say okay. I appreciate you and Attic. Guys, always keep up the fantastic work like you always do. And one more thing. Talk to me. And this is this is not for you. This is for the internet. You okay. guys out here, listen. Don't don't please do not allow these video game content that that we so much love and, and love and enjoy, right? Please do not allow these video game content to get you out of line to the point where you're talking crazy. And then when someone brings that energy to you in real life and say drop your addy, it's a whole different story. Stop uh, doing that. Don't, don't don't think you say because you're around because you're behind your phone or your or your internet screen. We should never take it that far. But since people want to take it that far, and then you got the person who you bringing that energy to say, yo, I'm in your city. Oh yo, um, I'm gonna be in your city in about two, three months. Then when that time comes comes closer and close, the energy change. We y'all gotta stop doing that. Because I've heard many, many, many true stories about the guy I'm talking to right now, and that's Senior King. Leave him alone. He don't bother nobody. We just talk video game stuff. At the end of the day, we move with respect. We move with love. But once you step out of bounds with that, don't be surprised when a whole different person come at you. Like, it's, it's, it should never should never be that way. We don't bother nobody. Like, I, I, like it was a situation a few weeks ago I'm not going to bring up. You know, yeah. You know how I move. Um, uh, peace, love, life, all day, every day. All Don't day. Nobody. All, all, all day. I even got a tattoo on me. Peace, love, life, all day, every day. I got, I got brought, drawn, drawn, drawn into a situation for what? Because this person don't like that person. It yeah. should never go that way. Because for a person who always move with love and respect, and then that person keep on getting disrespected here and there, whatever, upside down, left, right. You might, you might see a different part of that a part of that person. Because when a person yep. always moves with love, when, and when he starts moving with the energy that you you guys bring him on a different scale, now you want to bring now you want to look at the guy who always moves with love, respect. Oh oh oh! You, you look at him like like oh yo 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 yo! What are you doing? You gotta be a better person. It should never, never be about that. Thank you. I should, I should this time. Yes, thank you. It should never be about that. That's why I always say peace, love, light, move, love, move, respect. And always. Day, let's, all, let's, all, let's always have a good time because guys like you, guys like me, we're trying to move this industry in a great direction. We're always trying to move with peace, love. We're always trying to move with love and respect. That's it. That's and all we're looking for, it. man. Exactly. At the end of the day, some people can't fathom that, King. And it no. is beyond me. It is beyond me. Because, because you know what? They got to find that, that peace. I know how, how <laughs> fragile life is. I know how short life can be. I've seen uh, people be here one day and gone the next. So I'm blessed okay. to be this. To, to yo, when y'all talk about my gray hair, if you can look at your face, you have gray hair. You got a grandkid, you'll be happy. You see the gray hair king got? That ain't just gray hair. That's wisdom. That's that. That's experience with life itself through the ups and the downs, through the trials, the tribulations. You see any any gentleman walking today in, in their elder years with gray hair, sit down and have a conversation, and I guarantee they will continue to drop gems on you all day, every day. Hey, if I'm wrong, can you tell me I'm wrong? Because I think I'm nah, nah, wrong. nah. You 100 right. You 100 right. But we're gonna get into giving this coin out because we're gonna give out this coin. Now, if you ain't a right. member, blessings, Yobi. Right, blessings. Let King legendary Yobi. It's always, always. Love. peace, yeah, love, like life. Said, when I pop up to these events in the future, we're gonna sit down and have a conversation because I know Hopefully. it's a lot of it's a lot of things I can learn from you, my man. Blessings. You know we gotta get something to eat. You already know that. Oh, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. Let's go. For sure. For yeah, sure. Shout out to the Iron Lords. Big up. Much love. Respect. Blessings. Yo, Thank I want bro. I want to let everybody know. So we got the Iron Lord shirts um, that we're going to go because we're going to PAX East next week. If anybody didn't know, Iron Lords is going to PAX East next week. Xbox Frontline will be at PAX East next week. And then when we come back, we opening for Last Stand Media in New York City. We're going to be there. And I got something special for the Last Stand uh, Media family. Uh, something dope um, that we're going to do. Uh, this, I'm living a movie, a dream in my life to this point. You know, my, my daughter had asked me if I could be anybody in this world, if I came back, if I could be anybody in this world, 
who would I be? And I said myself. Because if I wasn't me, then I wouldn't have been able to have met her. When I first held my daughter, happy birthday, Danica Johnson. Uh, and um, when I first held her, I looked at her. And that's the moment I fell in love, like absolutely fell in love. And I was just like, wow, the most amazing creature this world has ever made. And that was for me. And I was part of that. So we're going to give away this coin. And this coin is for members. So we give away a coin once a week. Uh, the Power World coins is coming because I heard Power World is wilding out. They're making so much money that they don't have staff enough to, 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 to keep up with the game. They got to hire more people. So shout out to that success story in Power World. So I'm going to have a coin given out for that. And we're going to be giving out the Diablo coin right before Diablo drops. A whole bunch of stuff is happening. I do appreciate each and every last one of you. And if you learned something today, I'm I'm glad. But Attic, let's uh spin this dial. Let's give this coin away. Let's make this happen for everybody that's watching. Hold it one second. I gotta. He he gotta put the new names inside. Yeah. So I mean, I thought this week would be the week that uh. One of these loud mouths would jump on. I thought so. But obviously, then it's not a problem that you have with me. It's a problem that you have with yourself. I thought this was the week. Because everybody wants to clown this and wants to clown that. But when the dudes say, what's up? You want to make videos? What's up? Come through. Tell me your problem to my face. Let me know. You say I don't give you a chance to speak. I give you a chance to speak. It's a calling show. Oh, you talk about this coin, Mixie? Oh, hold on. Let me take it out. Let me take it out because it's in a plastic and maybe the camera's not picking it up properly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Let me, uh, there, we, there we go. There we go. That's that side. And this is the other side to it on the coin. These are some serious high quality coins. But you know what? Prime Drake, there's nothing to be scared of. Oh, and uh, um, Frank Kent, I do have all the comic books of Invincible. I do have all the comic books of Invincible. Right, I'm a comic book collector. Um, I'm a comic book collector. I have 62,000 comic books. Or is it 64? I think it's 64. I, have six, I think it's 64,000, but I'm going to say two, whatever. I have 62,000 comic books, and um, I'm a comic book. I'm a nut, bro. Pause. But uh, let's spin this coin. And let's give this coin out every week. I'm trying to make sure every member gets a coin. I'm not going to be satisfied. And the road to 10K, we have the statue that I'm giving away. It's a, um, what is it? Gentle Giants uh, honeypot statue. Uh, her code name is Whisper. Uh, Jenny Vicious. It's a dope looking statue donated to us, to the front line by COG. It's a big statue. So that statue is going to get shipped out as soon as we hit 10K. We almost there. You guys rocking with me. I'm rocking with you. That's definitely what we're going to do. Yo, addict, spin that dial. Let's get up out of here in a second. Spinning now. Frank Kent. <laughs> Frank Kent don't have no problem. Frank Kent like attention, and I appreciate Frank. David you know, Hot I can. Right. Who? Who? David Hart right. Oh, David Hotright, yo, David Hotright. Yo, David, hit me in the DMs um, on Twitter. We'll talk, we'll hook up, and so I can send this out to you. Hollywood Rules $2 Super Chat, how good was that Dune 2? That Dune 2 was phenomenal. Attic, did you see it yet so we could do the um, the reaction to it? Not yet. All right, so Attic didn't see it yet. I might have to probably record a reaction to it, or I'll probably do a live reaction. Listen, next week when I'm in PAX, I was going to drop this video for the members. Next week when I'm at PAX East, I'm going to be doing a series of videos with some of your best content creators, uh, with um, interviews with some of the devs. If any of you guys have games that you want to see, that you want me to, to, to talk about, to interview, to show you footage of, hit me in the DMs. Let me know. 
Let me know what games you want to go see, and I'm going to make sure I bring that to you. Because if you ain't able to go to PAX, I'm able to bring PAX to you. This is exactly what we do. So the videos is going to go up in the background for members, and I'm probably going to let out clips for y'all to see. But the only reason why is because a lot of times I play, like, it's music and stuff that's going on. And some of that stuff is under NDAs and stuff like that. So y'all can see it there. But if they tell me it's able to go, I'm going to let a lot go on the channel for you guys to check that out. But um, I picked up the PAX East shirts. I think this is one of the best shirts that um, I've concocted for the team. We're going to be out there uniformly. If you know how we move, we move militant-minded, always on target, 100%. And... It's just something. It's a movie to see. So I can't wait to get to Last Stand Media so you guys can see exactly what Xbox Frontline is about. Maybe I can yank some of you PlayStation dudes over to this side because that's my whole mission and that's my whole goal. But Attic, who are we sending them to? Who are we going to have them go to? Uh, let me see who's on. Is my man Risk It on? We got Risk It is not on, but someone named Colt Classic Cages. Okay, well, send him to Colt Classic Cage. Hold on. Anonymous boss with uh, $5. I don't know. I think that's Ren. Yo, I'm in your city, King. Pull up. I'm with Diddy and Cog. We in this, we the Sword Brothers album. Big pause. Just Captain King. I salute you and Attic. Blessings 100%. Yo, you crazy as hell. Yo, you've been doing that a lot. And I got to get that on you because you've you, you been saying that a lot. <laughs> wow, crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we're going to send you guys over to them. You guys have a good day. And uh, we'll be back uh, Sunday at, at 1 p.m. That's right. I ain't Lord's podcast. Blessings. Thank you for rocking with me. <laughs> These dudes thought they stopped something.